To me, life is like a book, and every chapter of my life opens up something new and exciting. And as every chapter goes by, I learn a little more and become the person I am today. The very first chapter of my book started when I was born in Vietnam. I grew up in a beautiful city called Hue, also known as the Imperial City. Because of this, I have learned many traditions and history of my country. In 2009, a new chapter began. I moved from Vietnam to a foreign country called America. Saying goodbye to the culture I grew up with was the hardest part. I knew from the start that everything was going to be different. Yet, I still brought my culture and traditions with me. My culture and the way I speak became the problem when I started school. People would make fun of the culture I came from, asking if I eat dogs, why are my eyes so small, why do I have a funny accent, and why do I go to a place where I do not belong. It got to the point where I was so tired, I started to hate myself. I closed the doors and not let anybody in. I stopped talking at school, and I just wished I was an American, so I can fit in, so I can be like one of them, so I would not be seen as a chinky Asian who eat dogs and struggle when she speak English. A better chapter opened up after I moved from California to Minnesota. I attended a humble senior high school and found myself being surrounded with people from all around Asia. I feel like I was home again, as they talk to me and respect my culture. From there, I started to talk more and learn more about other cultures, and also learning more about myself. I joined many after-school activities, and over time, they were no longer clubs. They were like family to me, as everyone support and care for each other. The two most important families to me were JTC and College Possible. Why JTC taught me how to be a leader. How to overcome myself when I think I can't do some things, but not to give up easily. I learned to be competitive in education and set goals for myself. I tried to do things that I once thought I could never do, such as getting into the top ten and overcome my fear of talking to people that are different from me. In college, possible it is another family that support me and help me on my way to college. It was a dream come true when I got accepted to the University of Minnesota. I still remember the day I got home and received an acceptance letter in the mail. It was unbelievable at first. For a person who hates herself, not knowing as much English and not wanting to talk at all, I became a stronger person that kept on working hard toward my dream and achieve it. Because no matter how much people around me try to push me down. I have learned that I need to stand strong in order to show them I can accomplish what they think I can't. In August 2009, I came to America, and in June 2014, I graduated from high school and ready to go on further with my education. These five years seem to pass by fast. The day I entered school and started hating myself seems like yesterday, and today I again enter a place where there are people who are completely different from me. But I know I cannot hate myself again, and I cannot be a different person to fit in, because I am who I am. I still have an accent. I will still struggle to speak English, and the culture I grew up with will always be with me deep down in my heart.